Ah, there we go. So good evening everyone and welcome to our lovely people webinar and my lovely people tonight <laughs> is the lovely Singular. Martin. <laughs> so, yes, and Martin has um, he's on holiday in Devon so he's here on a little visit he came and had some an evening meal with us and yeah, has agreed to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. So I met Martin um, in February of this year, that's true isn't yeah, it, that's true. when you came to our retreat yeah. and um, yeah we got on really well, you bought flapjack so hey you know <laughs> what's, what's not to love <laughs> um, and I know that since then you've gone on to, you've started some meetups because you had such a you know, a change. You saw something in these principles that we share that changed things for you. Yeah. So you started your own meetup group, um, and are very keen to share that. So yeah. I thought it'd be really good to have a chat um, because I think sometimes when people have not long come across the principles, they've got a very fresh, you know, take on it. They're kind of just seeing things, just yeah. seeing, you know, it's kind of really yeah. alive for them. So I thought it would be really great to have you on and have a chat with you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And, and one night when you were on the webinar and our guest didn't turn up, I did put you on the spot <laughs> a little bit and start <laughs> asking you some questions. Yeah. So I knew you were up for it. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to share with us... Um, how, a little bit yeah. about your background, how you came across yeah. the principles, and what yeah. you know, so, what's changed for you. From, I like, think it was about um, a bit over two two years, two and a half years ago. That actually mm. was the first time someone introduced me, um, which is a good friend of mine who's herself very engaged in the principles now. Um, and I was working at the time in IT and you know in the city, and we're actually working at the BBC. So it was something I was looking at. In the background and interested in and, and, and my interest sort of got more and more and more <clears throat> and then about a year ago <clears throat> I was unable to find any further work I was always self-employed mm -hmm. so that gave me a little bit although I was frantically trying to find work it also gave me more time to um, look at the principles and as it went on I started to think well you know if I can't get any further work this would be a great direction for me to go in mm. um, and it's also something you can do until you're old and grey <laughs> and whatever as well <laughs> so that has uh, lots of benefits um, and so yes I was then just just you know looking at videos and talking to one or two friends that I had <clears throat> involved and then your retreat came up um, <clears throat> which was absolutely fantastic and, <clears throat> and really made a step change for me <clears throat> in my oh, understanding cool. Oh, and also good. gave me even more impetus mm. to keep learning and to and to do a lot more so you know definitely a, a great thing to be able to spend time on your own or you know with a group where that's your main subject not mm. just sitting at home in between doing bits of work and things like that watching a few videos here and there is not the same as having one-to-one -one conversations you know over a whole weekend um, so yeah. you know, that's a lot of time and uh, like-minded people and people asking all sorts of different questions makes you think oh yeah oh yeah and you get this <laughs> oh, what about that and so yes I definitely recommended <coughs> definitely <laughs> retreat I'll give you the money later <laughs> <laughs> come along every time there's another one in February <laughs> so so then yes I was doing a lot more um, looking at it, still trying to find work, which I still am, but you know, I think that's it's not working. I think it's a kind of a, an age thing. I think that in the IT industry, uh, you reach a certain age and they're kind of rubbish. That might be people. just that, that might just be a thought. Mark. It may well be. It may well be. I've certainly considered that. But it <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I'm doing other stuff, but so then <clears throat> also I have a 16 year old son who had a few problems mm. um, as they often do lots more and more children of, of that kind of teenager age um, you know relationship problems or stress or whatever it is and yeah, self-harming yeah. coming on to the minutes and it's peer pressure and it's school it's pressure, pressure and, school and, and, and yeah. they're not very good at releasing that pressure themselves in the way that I think most of us were who were a bit older, we'd go out and lark around with our mates and everything, mm. but they're sitting in front of a computer screen or they're on their phone. And so it's very inward looking. <clears throat> and I don't think it helps them, you know, 
understand the wider world and they're really influenced by what goes on on Facebook and things like this. So mm. <clears throat> anyway, he had problems and um, through this same friend, in fact, I was introduced to the innate health group and I went with him to a parent and child um, sessions. They were so you and your session, son went me yeah. and my son together mm. oh, wow. um, right. with probably about 15 other parent and child groups mm -hmm. in London um, going through what has now become the iHeart program yeah. that is taught in schools. But so we went through that and it was really good and he was ever so keen to keep going and it was a bit of a, you know, it was quite a long drive for us to get into London and, uh, you know, an hour and a half two hours maximum getting back late and having to go to school you know the next day so it was it was quite a difficult thing but he was really really keen to keep going and wow. going and going that's so good. you know that's really good especially mm. for teenagers you know like, oh, I can't stop it. <laughs> and uh, but it wasn't that and um, it has made a difference to him and one of the interesting things is that he shares the understanding that he got from that um, <clears throat> those classes with his friends at school yeah mm. which is i mean and that's they don't know that it's three principles they don't know anything mm. you know about the underlying thing that's mm. going on we've just got lessons that um you know help them point them in the right direction mm. it's, it's great actually when they do because i know you know i've had quite a lot of conversations i've got a son he's um 20 and he was struggling and had problems and we you know and i didn't kind of sit him down and say guess what there's three principles and this we <laughs> just and we would often actually go out walking he that's what he yeah. liked to do so we would go and have a walk and we would just i don't know end up just have a normal conversation and then kind of steer it in a direction just end up talking and like he's he's done the same he shared stuff with his friends and yeah. so they're saying it in their words they're saying what yeah. makes sense to them saying what they've seen and that's in a way what it's all about isn't it that's what getting this understanding out there to me is all about because it's such a shame when our youngsters suffer in those ways and if we can it's, just it's, it's, it's really yeah. horrible for them it really yeah. is horrible and the system that we've got in place on in the NEHS mm. is under huge stress and so most people have heard of CAMS yeah <laughs> which is you know the first port of call for children with so-called mental health problems yeah. and you know those guys there there's some really lovely people there yeah um, well intent they're very very well intentioned, well -intentioned. yeah mm. and they, they do their best but they're clearly under pressure to get the children through the process yeah, yeah. now at the other end and tick the box and say oh, we fixed one <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, here's another one we fixed that'll be good get an extra bonus perhaps yeah. at the end of the month for churning them through <clears throat> but it doesn't really fix anything it's too short it's too simplistic and so they drop out the end and then they're they're back you're great you're fine now there's no problems with you off you go go back to school mm. and so um, that doesn't really work very well we're lucky in um, in our area that we have got uh, an organisation that will sort of take them and help them and talk to them and they can mm -hmm. just go there or go away, meet other people um, and so on. But generally speaking, you know, they're abandoned. And that was the situation we were in. Um, yeah. And, you know, this um, I Heart um, with innate health people um, really, really helped. So then... Terry Rubinstein and Brian actually set up the iHeart program and we were uh, with a group of um, 18 of us with the first cohort to learn to teach the iHeart okay. program in school mm. so well, that was an amazing experience and you, need, you, you know you needed it couldn't be anybody you can't walk in off the street <laughs> you need to have a good understanding yeah. of the principles because um, they're teaching school teachers at the moment. <laughs> oh, so um, question from Gavin. Gavin's asked us a question. What's CAMS? Um, basically, it's a it's the Child Mental Health um, Organization. Yeah. If you're a child or teenager has got mental health issues at all, and you go to the doctor because they're depressed or anything like that, they basically they send them to CAMS. That's where yeah, you end true. up with them. So it's. it's it's the government mental health services that I can't remember what it stands for. No, I can't remember what it stands for. Children something mental yeah. health services. Mm. 
so but yeah basically that's what that's where you'll find yourself if you have a child or a teenager with mental health issues in the uk with cans yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. in fact i mentioned our, our cams lady i mentioned the three principles to her in passing and i didn't say three principles it's great but um you know it was oh no this is what we've got to do we must follow this this mm. curriculum and that's the end of that and yeah. um, i also offered since i've now learned the iheart program i, I offered to teach it free to this subgroup the group after and it was all no we don't do that kind of thing yeah. so, <laughs> it, it can be difficult i mean as you know you know we um share the principles around here as much as we possibly can with as many people and i think sometimes that that is the difficulty when you are uh, when there's an organization when you can so see how this would help yeah. if people within the organization yeah. had this understanding but sometimes you know they have their own curriculums they have their own things so it can be a little bit but that's where i think it's really really good if you just kind of live this yourself like you've yeah. learned yeah. if you just you can't i know in my experience the people my family and other people around me just kept noticing things about me and then if somebody kind of comes along and asks you, <laughs> you know, what's different about you? And then, yeah. you know, we've, we've had a, a lady that's been coming along to some of the groups that we've been doing and she's now got a job in a local school and she's really keen to get it into that school. So we've kind of got past one of the firewalls already. Yes, because, yes. <laughs> yeah, like that. So you just don't, if you just keep, you know, doing what you're doing, being on lovely people webinars talking to people getting you just don't it's like this has got a little bit of it's got legs all on its own hasn't it it has it really has but mm. I, I was interested that i was watching um rudy kennard the other day and he said that our group now we're pioneers and that's why we find it, you know we have to, everywhere we go it's completely new to everybody yeah pretty much and they're all well, i'm not sure about that because this is the, <laughs> you know this is what human beings are like aren't they we like yeah they look we, at it know, suspiciously <laughs> and, um, something <laughs> new right. is, is a, yeah. you know, perhaps a bit dodgy but even it, you know even in the short amount of time that i've been around the principles i came across the principles in 2011 and from then to now i can see i mean one of the reasons why i've started doing what i did and i do the lovely people webinars and i do things in my local area was when i first came across the principles i didn't know another live human being within miles that it, you know that I could actually a real live human being that I could speak to that had even heard of anything yeah. like that and yet you know that's really changing the well, are... that's because of you <laughs> <laughs> well now well, you're, you're yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it is, that is how it spreads, it? That is how it spreads. Yes. You know, it's kind yeah. of word of mouth and willingness to learn mm. and understand and, and if you see somebody who's benefited then yeah what well, that's what have you done you know uh, mm. if you're that way inclined then it's this is how yeah. it's going to have to spread really and i think i think it will you know eventually it you know very much i've seen with my son and you know like where he goes into work and where he and like probably with your son if they are talking to their friends and talking to people eventually other people will begin to hear about it and take notice if the if the people you know the children themselves and other people and parents as well if parents go to a school yeah. and say, you know, if their child has been impacted by it because, say, through one of your groups you help somebody or something like that, yeah. eventually, you know... Somebody asks you, what is it yeah, you did? What is it, yeah, what did you do <clears throat> yeah. that's so yeah. impacted? And that's how it spreads, isn't it? That's yeah. it's real. I mean, you know, the, the, the amount of people that I've seen that, that have shifted and had a, a, things, really, really small things actually sometimes that have just made such a massive difference mm. in their life. And, yeah. you know, just the way people get on, the way... That was the thing that really astounded me with the principles. You know, your insights can be really sound as if they're really small shifts. You can just say, do you know what? I just wanted to be kind this day. Something, <laughs> always when yeah. I've just been annoyed, I just thought... Oh, it occurred to me not to be annoyed, just to be kind. And it makes the world a difference, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. And somebody just has that kind of, the insights, often when you talk about them, they don't always sound as if, if they're... If you tell somebody about <laughs> yeah. it, they go, yeah, and? <laughs> yeah. We've had that a bit. So, I mean, in my situation, now being out of work for a year, and, you know, it's not like, 
a normal person who's been in work and it's fine. You know, it was a big divorce and so there was no money and everything. We had to have the house rebuilt. And in the middle of that, the house being, you know, having no ceilings, suddenly I've got no... <laughs> I'm spending huge amounts of money on builders and suddenly I haven't got any coming in <laughs> from a very low starting point. Actually and so take it a sharp a, intake of breath. Oh, yes. <laughs> it has really helped me to remain, yeah. um, you know, not too, not really stressed about it. I'm stressed. I know something will come along. Financially very difficult. I have a wonderful person helping me there, but, you know, mm. but that's difficult for anybody to mm. be supporting two families. Um, I'm uh, volunteering in a local charity shop and things like that. <laughs> that. Actually, I may become the manager for that shop. Well, there you um, go. At, at the moment, I'm waiting for the call. You know, <laughs> oh well, let's hope you get it while we're on here tonight. To, to see if that happens, yeah. so that you know that'll be a good thing as well. So you know, and it is that it has made me much more resilient. I'm, it makes you know, yeah, it makes you realise things. I know, like in situations that I've been in, and we imagine you know you might have just enough money till the end of the week or something. Then you imagine next week. And you and you kind of project a future, and but you don't know what's going to happen between now and then. You know, yeah. with with everything that we're up to and the conference and everything that we're organising. You know, when we first started to do things, there's people that I didn't, you know, I didn't even know they existed, and I'm trying to do this and thinking, well, how's this going to work out? And how am I going to do that? Oh, yeah. And then things are working out because people that I didn't know before have suddenly turned yes, up yes. and it's the same with work and money and the certain things that we can get into our head around and we think no that must be outside of this understanding yeah but the one thing around money that i always share with people is i mean i've got three amazing grown-up children and i was actually having a conversation with somebody who's kind of in a place of almost thinking about having a second baby and they're like oh you know I can't afford a baby and this thing and I said well if I'd have waited to actually afford a baby I wouldn't have had my first one let alone yeah. the second and the third and it's kind of one of those and yet somehow they're grown up they've managed they're not they didn't starve to death they didn't, you know they've always had everything that they need yeah. And, it's, and, and I guess with you, with your work day to day, you're finding, do you know what? I mean, you look to me, you pr look pretty well turned out to me. You look as if you've had a wash. You look yeah, as if yeah. you're <laughs> eating. I'm not a month I need it or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Life has a way of kind of working itself out, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm sure it will. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. So what would you say is the main thing that's changed for you since you came across this understanding? You well, I think it is that resilience. Yeah. I think it is that a, a, a more of a kindness. Well, I don't think I was unkind before, mm. but I feel that I'm certainly more tolerant to people and, uh, you know, understand people better. And, it, it, you know, I think I, day to day I'm more confident. I'm sitting here with you. Not that I was, in, again, unconfident, but... I was confident within a narrow band of what I knew about at work, <laughs> you know, um, and that's completely expanded. And so, sort of, hence, that's also why I was able to, and I thought I was capable of running a local um, mm. mental health group, which is called Headspace Health. And um, so, I've had three of those meetings so far. Brilliant. Which was all good, and I've yeah. got another one next month coming up. Which I'm looking forward to. So, what area do you live? What area are those I live meetings? In North London, north outside London, sort of near Milton Keynes, if anybody knows that area. And you know, I didn't know there was anybody else in, around my area at all who understood it or who was around. Then I discovered um, that Steve, Steve Adair, Adair is is there, and, and I've met with him as well. And mm. uh, then there's another guy as well, Phil Reed, mm. um, who has another group quite recently so we've all got together and you know that's allowed us to kind of share people as well mm. so I've built up the group and and you know those people that come to those meetings like a different perspective too yeah it's very good I mean one of the reasons that I like doing the lovely people webinars is because I think it's really really great for people to hear you know different people's take on what's going yeah, on for them yeah. because i think we can hear things some people resonate with different people don't we well definitely yeah definitely yeah. someone from your own kind of 
background or anything mm. you know these kind of things which cease to matter actually yeah <laughs> the more you understand <laughs> about the principles but, you know there is a thing you know went to the right kind of school or whatever it is you know you're middle class so you're the you know somebody i'll listen to or, mm. or understand the way you talk and all that kind of stuff um, and that you know really doesn't matter but people will resonate with yeah you know, or male or female and all that kind of stuff makes a big difference to uh, people. And very often as well, when people have had similar experiences, because very often, although, you know, as you begin to get an understanding of the principles, we can see that actually this understanding is universal. You know, like um, we might sometimes, we often have titles to the talks that we're given and we kind of say, oh, we're going to do it about parenting or we're going to do about it at work or something like this. And, you know, we're talking about the same thing all the time, but sometimes initially it's very, if people come across this understanding, if they're having difficulties with their, you know, if somebody was having difficulties with a child or something, it might be easier to speak to someone who's had that experience. It feels... Yeah. Yeah. Just just talking is is difficult. If you've got some reason mm. to help somebody or, or, or something to hold on to, then the conversation becomes more relevant yeah. to that person. Mm. Um, and, you know, you go to many. Diff- I go to now about three other meetup groups occasionally, and uh, you know, you learn. I learn more, <laughs> and you can contribute more, and uh, everybody's in this community is welcoming as well, which really mm. makes a big difference. So can you share, you know, anything that um, any anything that's making sense to you around the principles? You know, anyone here who's on this call, whether they know the principles or whether they've just come across it. You know, what can you give us a bit of an outline? What you see are the principles? What anything that might be helpful to someone? Um, for me, it's uh, this resilience thing is very important for me. It's something I've seen and. Um, makes a really big difference um, but also a better understanding of others and to, to not be annoyed by other people's behavior to understand sort of where they you know that everybody's human everybody's different everybody thinks in a different way this kind of separate um, existences that we all have um, and, and it's inevitable I mean I, I had a, a good um, occasion when I was watching a, a music concert and suddenly I realized I, I saw all of these people being individuals together having the same experience but not having the same experience <laughs> you know this is a kind of classic thing but when it happens to you it goes much deeper yes that understanding and and you don't forget it mm. that, that's the very interesting thing is you don't forget those insights that you have they're always there in the background so you'll see oh you know somebody else having a problem or behaving in a strange different way that you would previously have found annoying and you think well you know they're just somebody else <laughs> living a diff- having a different view look somebody waving at us through the window <laughs> <laughs> somebody having what a totally you, different oh yeah <laughs> There's somebody dancing in our front garden, dancing outside she's, the window. She's taking it and she's sucking the internet bandwidth <laughs> off us as well. <laughs> it's amazing what goes on here. You wouldn't believe behind the yeah. scenes stuff that's going on. Is, you know, <laughs> we all look serene like swans here and there's all sorts going on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've got Diane there. Diane, it's Judith. Judith is in my front garden, dancing around at the window, trying to get our attention, trying to distract (laughs) us. Hi, Diane. (laughs) So you said about resilience. What is it you've seen that you hadn't seen before that you now see around resilience? It's um, an understanding that these bad things that you imagine when you're in a diff- in a bad place that they are just your own thinking that actually you can go right past it it will be gone you know in hours that the, the stress that you are having thinking about that thing you can and suddenly you, you know you can now see it for what it is or i can now see it for what it is mm. and let it go and and so planning and things like that is much easier for me now because i don't have to do it so far in the future and get precision because you know it's okay to be planning to do something you know with a lighter touch Mm -hmm. because change 
is bound to happen between now and three weeks' time. You just <laughs> never know what, how, what, what's going to be going on. So, so you know, that whole thing is, is just, life is easier. Mm. In fact, that's, that's you know, the, the headline of it is life is actually easier. Relationships with people are easier. And, you know, that's huge with, with, with kids and things like that. Mm. Um, you know, if I jump on slightly um, with this I heart um, that I've learned and now I'm sort of qualified to teach in schools. This is for children between 11 and 18. I've been phoning the schools, going to the schools, emailing the schools, phoning them again, and I have no success. Mm. And actually this is mirrored by nearly everybody else on the course that they have found it very, very hard to get into schools. Yeah. And these are, you know, they're academy schools, they're private schools, they're the normal schools, you know, they're every, across, across the, the whole board. thing. And they're all, they, they prefer ignore you. If you go <laughs> there and you do manage to get hot, catch hold of the right person, which is the safe, normally the safeguarding lead for the school. Um, and that's the person who's responsible for all difficult situations, really, <laughs> that children have, and, you know, particularly in the mental health area or in biting and aggression, all that. It's the safeguarding lead in, in our schools in this country okay. who's responsible for dealing with that and having the first conversations with the people and the parents and bringing in the agencies who are appropriate. So they're the ones to talk to. If you talk to them, they're, of course, very nice people. and then you never hear from them again. Even you try and contact them, it doesn't happen. You know, so um, I've just got to keep plugging on. I yeah. know that this is the right thing. I know that this is going to be absolutely awesome. I know that Innate Health is growing the numbers of people who are capable of teaching, and that's across the country. And so once it's into the school system, it's going to become easier for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, because of the successes we're seeing, they're teaching um, in London now. To, they teach a whole a whole bunch of teachers. And there's something going on at a school. I think is it isn't it in Plymouth? There's actually there, there's a school that's happening that most of the teachers or something are going to be three principals. Oh, okay, that's, that's quite so. I definitely um, think there are you know, and it is surprising. It does feel like you know, if you're in a place where you want to get something into a school and you haven't heard anything for a week, it does feel our mind does that feels like a <clears> lifetime, doesn't it? it? Feels like oh my gosh, I've been doing this forever. I'm slogging away. Nothing's happened. It's very easy to get in to that place yeah. and yet you know the reality of it is I think you know from the time in 2011 when I came across this understanding there are an awful lot more people talking <laughs> about it and the more people I mean one of the things that we are absolutely all about is I don't go anywhere where I don't have some kind of conversation if it's you know people come to stay with me and then you know we go to as dirty by our shopping or something and then someone will say oh my gosh how did you manage to have a three principles conversation with the person on the hill <laughs> yeah. you know, the person the sky person who came to fit sky when we moved house knows about principles and to me it's kind of one of those things they hear about it and it is you know if you hear about something once you maybe dismiss it if you hear about it twice you're like oh that's the second time i've heard that if you start kind of hearing about it three and four and five times yes. yeah. it's sort of gets to a point where people are like oh maybe i'll look yeah. into this then so yeah. i just think the more of us you know that's why we need to support each other and be in this together and just yeah. sort of get out yeah. there and put it in places where people do keep coming across yeah. it in various different one ways. thing i'm kind of a bit concerned about is i think we're still as a community not sure what to call ourselves <laughs> there's, you know, yeah. there's no consistency there and I personally don't believe that three principles is the best thing because mm. the first thing everyone says is what's that? <laughs> and the answer is in, you know, is useless yes. to them. You know, it really doesn't help. Mm. And so, you know, that puts people off from the start. So I personally like innate health, but yeah. you know, <clears throat> who knows, but we need to settle on something. <laughs> I mentioned to you earlier, it's, it, it's um, the Wikipedia page has something, a name that I've never even heard of a previous mm. name of, that, you know, innate health. If people are that way inclined to look it up or to look up Sid Banks, 
they'll find uh, you know something that's inaccurate mm. um, and and out of date and actually that's perhaps an indication of the speed of change that we were just yeah, talking about yeah i think it probably is that that has, yeah out. it, it yeah. is you know but we is. would help ourselves i think with a consistent approach mm. very hard to achieve with <laughs> across the world and everything. it's a good job that um you know the universe as it were is on our side yes absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's a good job that we're pointing towards truth and the fact yeah. is when we're pointing towards that people do have this way of seeing something um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's a good so, um, I heart is now has now been taught to teachers in New York. Oh wow! Yeah, so you know the exact same program mm. will be rolling out in in the US as well. Wow! So that sort of consistency, yeah, across the you know the world is is mm. it's got to be good as well. Yeah, and seeing the, the successful results that come from it. Mm. So um, teachers who need who want to learn this have to have a longer period of understanding the three principles than understanding the curriculum because it's not wanted they might go oh, i don't like that bit or i don't agree with that thing mm. so then they might change it so that the, the curriculum needs mm. to be delivered in the way that it's been written and the curriculum is changing slightly but you know that's what we need to teach <laughs> and not something that somebody because there's religious connotations that they have in america that are important and they say well i don't believe in that so you know but again that's it rolling something out across the world is um is not something that's easily contemplated and yet and there we are we're, trying we're to doing do. yeah and, and i mean all good luck to terry and brian you know and when again when you look at the relatively short amount of time that you know that tick and kind of came up through the ranks if you like you know terry and brian so it's not when I came across this in 2011, that the, the conference and all that that was going on there was very, very new. Yeah. So it's a relatively short time that they have now and they've got a program that they're rolling out in school. So I think sometimes we're maybe being a little bit impatient when we're kind of, yeah. and I can see why, you know, we're kind yeah. of like, the world should know this. But it is, if you kind of look around, the world is waking up to this, I think. You know, the, the yeah. amount of people that I see now that, have this understanding or have some knowledge of it or have heard of it have looked in this direction it's it's changing very very quickly yeah. and yeah. massively so yeah you know. and these conferences are a great thing <coughs> you know not wanting to advertise your conference no but, please do you know, please do <laughs> advertise away <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have the retreats, as I was saying earlier. Yeah. <laughs> the conference is another thing. It's people yeah. all in the same place, talking the same language or learning the same language. It is amazing, I think, when you get into a room like that. Like you said, your understanding came forward a lot. I think, you know, when you sort of get together, there definitely is something about the consciousness level or whatever. I don't know, when you, want to, when you get a, a group of people together, looking in the same direction it is like something magic happens in yeah. those rooms yeah. i mean i've done quite a few retreats and every time i do a retreat i think wow it cannot get better than this <laughs> and then it it does you know we we it's it yeah. there is definitely a magic and you know, we're doing our retreat in a retreat we're doing our conference in september and i'm so excited to sort of see yeah. you know where that goes um but, and, and I think we, we can just trust. We can do our bit and just trust. That yeah. resilience that you've got, you draw on it, that I mean, resilience and trust. <laughs> so I, went, so I was, uh, volunteered at the Three Principles Conference in London. Yeah. And um, so I was stuck doing the live streams, uh, managing the live streams in the biggest meeting room of the whole conference over the three days. Wow. What a shame. <laughs> uh, yeah, shame. Yeah. But, How know, terrible for you. That was an example. But, you know, everybody's friendly and that you know that's you know there's not many people shying away and hiding in the corners mm. or anything else you can go up to and also you can go up to anybody in the industry and they will have an immediate have a conversation with you, yeah um, without any hesitation at all mm. so i met some of the you know in other industries but they would be held up as something special Mm. in this we know that they're just human beings the same as we are we're all humans yeah. who, who yeah. knew who knew <laughs> in some cases i'm still not sure yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh, so Gavin, yeah. We did talk about, actually, so Gavin yeah. said we can change the Wiki Wikipedia page if we want to. We can update it. So, yeah, we did. Um, we, I, I didn't, yes, I didn't I know, know that. that. I've, mm. I've edited um, Wikipedia pages before. But, Gavin, if you have a look at that Wikipedia page, well, A, you, it'll be difficult to find it. If you look for um, your internet Oh, we've gone a bit unstable. That's uh, Julie's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Julie's fault, I should say. Um, it's a huge entry. You won't find a page for um, Sid Banks at all. Uh, his name is embedded somewhere in this text of a, an old-fashioned name that I can't even remember that, that's not used anymore for the three principles. You put um, it out there now. And I'm there's sure a huge amount change. of text. There really is a huge, huge amount of text that mm. we would need to um, I'm sure. have agreement from the from the community as well as to mm. what we want to put in there. So um, it, it would not be a, an, a small undertaking, but I think it is something that somebody ought to do. Mm. Um, absolutely, definitely, because loads of kids and people, you know, rely on Wikipedia as a source of information uh, of, you know knowledge mm. and understanding so i think that's something we, well i we think you've kind of put it out there now so oh, let, let's yeah. watch and let's see, see what keep, happens i'll keep putting it out yeah there. <laughs> yeah every <laughs> webinar you go on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really so shall we see if anyone's got any questions yeah yeah this is when everyone goes quiet yeah so um you've all got um you you can unmute yourself if you want to or if you put your hand up those of you that have got your cameras on so i can see you i can unmute you but if anyone has got anything they would like to say to martin and then they'd like to share or any questions they'd like to ask please feel free to do so now or you can put it in the chat box judith seems to have disappeared <laughs> <laughs> she's scared <clears throat> This is where we have a moment of silence. <laughs> then we get the nerve up to write. Oh, oh, uh -huh. somebody's. Hi, Steph. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Martin. Thank you so much for that. It's really interesting to see how you how you came to the principles. It's um, it's really nice to be here with you. Yeah. Um, I I was. Um, I was interested to find out a little bit more about the I heart approach to sharing the principles in, in schools. I was wondering if you could just, um, just share a little bit more about how, how the sharing takes place, you know, how, how it's structured. Yeah, sure. Um, so it's, it's a curriculum, it's a set curriculum and it's 10 classes. Um, and that's the typical length of a class in a school is between 45 minutes and an hour. Mm -hmm. um, each class, each lesson, each, we call it sessions because they go to lessons. So we want it to be different. Mm -hmm. We want it to be for the children. There's no testing of them after it. No, there's no exam. So, you know, it's very important for us, for them to know that we're giving them something rather than, you know, testing them, looking at them, you know, checking out their mental health or anything <laughs> like that. You know, this mm. That's a nice approach. Um, That's nice. Each one of those classes is, the, the first six certainly, have um, a bit of an explanation uh, and a discussion about the previous class. Obviously not the first one, but all the yeah. rest, so that they've got a link to, to, the, to the whole thread that's going on. There's a kind of video type of um, story that they'll have um, and they also have there's some still pictures as well that we can relate to um, there's a discussion about that um, and there's often uh, most of the classes have activities for them to go away and answer questions um, you know what do they think about this mm. to try to illustrate that everybody thinks differently about a given subject or you know somebody bullies maybe a story about a bullying and trying to get their reaction to that and talking about their reactions yeah and so and then it, they each follow a fairly similar um, sequence so the first six are purely that three principles understanding just from different perspectives in a consistent way mm -hmm. with a, a thread that we make sure carries through yeah and then the last four will be more work 
related, you know, spending a bit more time doing the examples um, with them and getting them to write stuff down and analysing it a bit more and giving them some real life situations um, that, that we can talk about and um, understand. And because some, you know, we, we've talked about it briefly earlier, kids these days are looking at their phone the whole time, you know, they're on computer games, they have a different life to certainly anything I had in my <laughs> youth and they're very blinkered. Um, so, you know, that they need to have a, a wider understanding and we're trying to give them that as well. Right. So, I mean, independently, I can show you some of that. I'm tempted to bring it with me, this oh. book, but I thought, <laughs> <coughs> I'm to get into that, you know, showing pages of everything. But, Next um, time. It's been <laughs> very, it's a fantastic training. Um, and it right. inspires you to get out there and mm. not give up. We're trying to get people to, uh, to look at mm. it and understand it. And, you know, I'm absolutely certain once I get in the first school. Yeah, it will, it will then have, it's yeah. like, it'll be like dominoes once you get it. it but yeah. it is, it's that getting something yeah. going. I mean, and I, we had a conversation with um, Terry and Brian and the amount of time and energy and money that has gone into getting the curriculum up. And yeah. I mean, Terry has got a beautiful, <clears throat> understanding of the principle she's, she's, she's an absolutely yeah, beautiful yeah. and person. brian has actually he yeah. hides it yeah. but brian's yeah. <laughs> actually very good he is isn't he actually yeah. they are they are amazing people yeah. so yeah i mean this so, curriculum is absolutely fantastically beautifully put together yeah. as well I would you know, expect everything for, and also for us teachers you know if you haven't taught it for a while it's all there yeah so you've got text <laughs> you can read it out yeah. Um, literally for each class and so you're not left hanging or anything else so it's almost it, it's it idiot works, proof <laughs> and it works in the way schools work as well so yeah they've used some of their friends who are also teachers to help I them know put that, it together yeah i know that it's it's been put together absolutely you know, a lot yeah. a lot of hours a lot of work has gone into yeah. it so yeah. Yeah, it would be really good to see mm -hmm. where that, you know, it would be good to have another webinar, you know, another, a yeah, year down the line and see, see where we've is, gone yes. with it. Yeah, because yeah. it is, it, it's, it's sometimes it's easy to get frustrated and think it's not happening quick enough. But when you actually stand back, you know, when you get again, like what the principal's teachers to do to take a, a little step back and actually look, it's amazing, marvellous things are happening in such a short time basic time relatively yeah. can, I, can i also ask um sorry am i no, taking up no, a lot no, no. of time I, I was just wondering about um do do the teachers and the parents get any exposure to the curriculum as well well, well so we wouldn't teach on our own mm -hmm. in the class so there would always be a teacher from the school in the room with us Actually, the maximum of 12 children as well mm -hmm. per class. It's not really, it's possible to teach 30, but you'd probably need two teachers yeah. to be understanding there just to manage them, you know, with them off going, doing these activities <laughs> and drawing pictures and all that kind of thing. It could rapidly become chaos. So yes, the teacher's there. Yes, obviously we would go through it and probably have to with senior people at the school before they let us teach it. Um, we're also supported by a website which has, you can look at it actually. Um, it's called I Heart Principles. So that oh, yeah. what they can look at there. There's um, testimonials from children mm. on there. In fact, my own son is on it. Um, and also, you know, quite a lot about it that they can learn from there as well. So um, we have quite a decent pamphlet we can give to the schools or send by email, all of which is set up by the innate health people. Mm. You know, it's absolutely all there. All mm. the we can print it out ourselves if we need to so yes I think they have thought of I think they've really really thought it yeah. through I think it's yeah. been done you know yeah having spoken to Terry about it I think they've spent a yeah. lot of time mm -hmm. trying to really really think it through yeah we did we did discover that they didn't you mentioned probably didn't possibly didn't really know that if we're not teachers then we have to have public liability insurance mm. and um, one other kind of insurance that we have to pay for to be able to teach it as yeah. well as um, you know a criminal background check mm. all of that kind of stuff you've got to present to the school before you're allowed in the door mm. it's, it's all achievable 
um, unless you're a criminal, presumably. <laughs> well, I hope you're not. <laughs> Definitely well, you know. I, I told <laughs> Colours. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you've had a complete turnaround and you tell us all about that yeah. next time. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. No step. <laughs> I, I, the, just the other thing about parents, do the do the parents get get to uh, um, get any access to the materials or, or no, talks? No, really. Um, certainly the children will have things that they can take home, but it won't be in any depth. Um, I suppose there's a bit of a concern the parents are going to go, oh no, we don't agree with this, we don't agree with that. <laughs> what we want to see is for them to recognise, and then, you know, seemingly already it would happen after one class, yeah. recognise the change in their children. Yeah. They don't come to us. Obviously, I'd meet anyone at any child, and, uh, and we all would. We'd meet mm. the parents, should it mm. be required, they would, you know, they wouldn't hold back. But that's what we would hope that they would see the change in the child. And they'd say, what is it? What have you done? <laughs> what have you done to my you child? Can, you know, just have that conversation with them. Oh. And lo and behold, yeah. another three principles person coming to your meeting group. <laughs> yeah. There's method in your madness. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's true. I, I, I do some work in schools and um, I, I, a lot of what I do is I do evening talks to the parents, which is... Uh, really interesting because they i think the first one there were supposed to be 30 there and there ended up being 80 people and they, they were all they were all so desperate to know how come their child was so laid back how, <laughs> their children was the children were coming home and going and the parents were saying right you need to revise now you've got your exam next week and they'll it's okay, we'll just wait until you've settled down a little bit and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the parents were going, what? <laughs> so yeah, they, 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 the, the, the conversations with the parents have been really, really good. Really good. And, and from that, um, the, um, some of the children who are, who are struggling and need coaching we've been doing we've been setting up coaching sessions with the parents as well and that has been immensely helpful for the parents because sometimes the kids are the kids are fine it's the parents <laughs> <laughs> that need that need the coaching so so to have the, all the family together is is a is a really really useful scenario you know so that that's been my experience, you know. Well, you did this with your with your son initially, didn't yes, you? Yes. So, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if they still do it, but they run a cut down I heart um, session. Um, I think there's six of them, or six or eight, for mm -hmm. parent and child, where you go mm -hmm. to the innate health centre in Edgware. Mm. Right. Okay. And, you know, it's Kerry and Rubenstein doing the teaching. Yeah, her other team who are all absolutely amazing. In fact, ones who hide in the background, they're all <laughs> yeah. fully, you know, three principles mm. understanding and, and yeah. it'll be helpful and all of that stuff. And so, yeah, that's that's another good way of doing it. And perhaps that model could also be rolled out. Well, I'm sure that um, they'd be yeah. very supportive if you wanted to do yeah. that in the school after yeah. they'd begun to see some of the results. Yeah. It's like, it's like you were saying earlier, you know, in this community, this is absolutely a level playing field. And I think, you know, when you talk about this, you learn as you know, you, you kind of stand up there as if you are the expert or something. But it's just not like that. When you begin to talk, yeah. you learn from sharing. You know, everybody benefits, and you, you know, with your children, if you're trying to. I'm guessing with your son and everything when you do that, he learns, you learn, you learn from each other. Yeah, yeah. It, it's all. It's and also, you can continue the conversation yeah. you know, on the way home mm. in the car or whatever. The next day, oh, what mm. about this? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's really true and it's mm. important. That makes the difference. Because yeah, very much as you know, when I know when I first came across this understanding, I would like, listen to somebody talking or something, and then it is like 24 hours later or two days later. It was really helpful to kind of talk about it like you said in the curriculum when they come back and you talk about what they learned last time it's yeah, really yeah. useful isn't it to have a little bit of 
be involved in it for a little while, have some time away, and then come back yeah. because it, it <clears throat> kind of settles with you, doesn't it? Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, typically we would do it once a week, but you can yeah. do it. Um, somebody I heard was doing it before they had a, a batch of children, four of them in a day. You know, they were really <laughs> crash coursing, yeah. me, and they were a bit tired. Mm. 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 But yeah, if it works, you know, if that's what they need, and uh, mm. you know, mm. that's it. So, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, um, it's you know, it's mm. going to get bigger and bigger. It, it will. I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? All all of a sudden, all these, you know, I think it's coming from so many you know directions now. People it's not going to be that long before an awful lot of people have heard about this understanding and are beginning yeah. to get curious. Whatever we decide to call it. Whatever it is we <laughs> decide to call it. That thing, that weird thing. Yeah. That, that's what people say to me. You know that weird thing you talk about? Will, will you tell me about it? <laughs> what was that weird thing? <laughs> Yeah. We're the pioneers of weird things. The pioneers of that weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> so did you want to ask anything else, Steph? Or anyone else? No, that's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. So, has anyone else got a question for the lovely Martin here? Not enough. <laughs> no, <laughs> we can never get enough of Martin. Or oh, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> You're very quiet there, Beck. Have you not got a question for our lovely Martin? Has he? <laughs> How many people were in your group to begin with, Martin? Pardon? How many people were in your group to begin with? Oh, well, that was an interesting question, Gavin. Firstly, none. <laughs> Second time, um, I had it in this little mental health support group in the town. I thought that would be quite good. Um, and I had about five people. Wow. And then the, the, the last one was quite amusing. So um, I'd arranged it in this, uh, in a public house that was a very quiet place. Um, on a Tuesday, the landlord assured me that it was going to be the quietest day of the month. And we had a little sipped off room which you know had curtains we could have our own area <laughs> and um, I turned up on the day and it was the the world cup football <laughs> and England were in, you know in doing something unsuccessful <laughs> there was absolutely it was a complete bedlam and the noise and everything and they moved us to somewhere else but we still had like a speaker in the corner <laughs> blasting this stuff at us um, in that case, there was only three of us. Um, but the good thing was, but even though it was noisy, we got into the conversation and then all of that noise kind of disappeared. And we mm. were able to just have that conversation without really being disturbed by it. Um, so it was, it was really good. It was, and I'm looking forward to the next one. So when's your next one? It's on, I can't remember, something like the 16th of August. Second week of August on a Thursday. Well, I think the World Cup's all done now, so you're all good. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> once, once a month, then. Yeah, you do it about once a month, don't yeah, you? Yeah, once a month, yeah. Mm. At the moment, mm. you know. Um, I've also, luckily for me, I met some other three principals practitioners in the area, so um, yeah, that's helped us all to sort of share people around okay. and... Um, have different perspectives on the world so that's all good too and i i think with these kind of things doing your meetups again it's like you were saying with this um curriculum it's nice to have some consistency and i think with your meetups it's like that you know just keep it going just keep yeah. turning up but it helps me too you know oh gosh absolutely yeah. <laughs> you know, trying, yeah. to, trying to talk to people in different ways yeah. and different people mm. um increases your vocabulary Mm. of the three principles and your understanding of it I, don't, I just don't think you can help if you share with somebody I just don't think you can help be being impacted uh, as well yeah you know it, it, that's definitely been my experience yeah I'm sure yeah absolutely mm -hmm. so has thank you very much Gavin have you got any more questions there Gavin I might better pick something up <laughs> give me a minute <laughs> <laughs> So, do you have a, a uh, theme for the evening, or just it's 
Well, I try to have a theme, and that was my idea originally. That I had, I started with a whiteboard, and I had a theme for the for the day. But you know, it lasts about five minutes <laughs> yeah. before it goes off in a completely different tangent. <laughs> so I'll probably continue to have like a starter comment mm. or some quotation or something <laughs> to discuss. But I think it probably doesn't work with adults. <laughs> With children, you know, you're nailing them down. You're saying, this is what we're going to talk about now. Now that Okay, that's flow. it, finished. But I think adults, you have to let the conversation flow. Mm. Really. You might be able to get back to your theme <laughs> at the end. So what have we learned? <laughs> children. What oh, did no. we learn about relationships? <laughs> <laughs> did you put a poster up in the town or what? How did you get people there? Yes, I've put posters up in where I can, where they let you. They look at you a bit strange. The library, um, where they have everything that's going on in the town. Um, some shop windows. Uh, also, uh, it's on there's meetup.com. You can have meetups on there. Put it on Facebook. Um, our local towns tend to have a, a web page for the town where people can sell mm. stuff or advertise things as well. So... Anywhere I can, really free. <laughs> Did you call Sorry, it? Kevin? Did you call it three principles? No, oh. absolutely no three principles at all. <laughs> Controversial. No. What, what have you really called? Really nothing. <laughs> the, the name of the group is Headspace Health, right. um, and I have some words, you know, about it, about what's going on, but I never mentioned three principles. It well, that's like people just say, well, what, what, what are they then? It's an interesting thing with with that. No matter what it is you're doing, like even with Headspace, how whatever you do, in in my experience, since I've been kind of sharing this and sort of trying to say what it is I'm doing, no matter what it is, no matter what you call what you're doing, some people go, "Oh wow, yeah, that makes sense," and other <laughs> people go, "I haven't got a clue. Don't know yeah. what you're talking about." Don't know what you mean. So I, I don't think we will ever find something. And I mean, that is definitely one of the, I don't think people live in different realities. People have their no. own. I don't think we will ever find something that just works for everyone. So I think it is one of those. Well, maybe it'll be called psychology one day. Maybe it will. <laughs> But even then, some you know there must be some. Oh, I wouldn't call this psychology if yeah, I were you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're always. Why that's... don't we call it the three principles? Yeah, why don't we call it the three principles? <laughs> You've got you talk about these things. Why I, don't we I just... personally like innate health. That's <laughs> yeah. reasonably clear to people. And then you'll find if you kind of put that out there, you'll go, oh, innate, innate health. Oh, that doesn't make sense to me. I would never call it that. Yeah. You just you know. So it's just one yeah. of those, isn't it? Yeah. Just get out and because it's not in the words, which is thankfully. <laughs> There is something deeper. There's a truth we're pointing to, so it's just a case of. Yeah. Maybe I'll call it Deborah's teaching. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. What did you say? Actually, what's wrong with the three principles? I know everybody sort of balks at it, and mainly that's because they can't explain it in a simple enough way. I'm not saying that I've got the answers to it, but I think that's a lot to do with it. I mean, it is called. I think the problem is for a beginner, for somebody who's completely new to it. I think explaining the three principles is a few two steps down the line. That's my concern. And they start asking and trying to understand the, you know, the principles themselves. And that's not really what we're looking at. We're trying to explain to them the understanding and not the meaning. We're looking at love and connection and all that sort of thing. But I mean, the, uh... Even that doesn't work for some people. But people with logic, logical thinking, you start talking about love and divine, and they're they're out the door. And, and this, this again, as I said, it's. I mean, for me personally, I I do mention the three principles a lot, and yeah. that, and absolutely, my insights and when I came across this, talking about three principles made complete sense to me, and I really saw something in that. Yeah. So again, I just think you know. And sometimes when I'm talking to people, that's what I say. And sometimes it's not what I say. Yeah. So I, I, don't think, I don't think you can nail it down and say, do you know what? If you say this to someone, this is going to make sense to them. You, we, don't, we don't know that. But no, I was thinking more about posters and presenting sort of like mm. a, a public front to, to start a meetup in the village here. 
you know, and this is even more remote than Milton Keynes, I can assure you. <laughs> oh, Gavin, so are you going to do some meetings? I'm, I'm heading that direction, yeah. Oh, Great. wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, please. Well, if you, if you want any help with that, Gavin, you've got my email address. Yeah. You know, I'm more than happy to have a little bit of a chat and give you a hand with anything like that. Go, I think that would be amazing. Definitely, just go for it, though. Yeah, do it. That's what we said to Martin, didn't we? Yeah. We were like, just do it, Martin, yeah. just do it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's the aim. But, I mean, it was, um, it's, you know what, what it's like. You can quite easily put brick walls in front of yourself. And, yep. uh, you know, part of that was even, you know, what do you put on the bloody poster? You know, excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, if you want to put walls in front of yourself, it's easy enough just in the poster design, you know? Yeah, <laughs> just just put something that makes sense to you and just trust that the people that should be there will be there. I, I, I would tend to think that the three principles is sort of sacros sacrosanct myself. I can't even pronounce the word with full teeth, but there you are. <laughs> Something like that, isn't it? Uh, I think that's brilliant. I, great. I, and we'd re I'd really, really love to hear how you get on with that. That's amazing. Well done. Well, I think it'll be like Martin. I think there'll be nobody there, you know. First yeah. time. Just, they will be in the end. Yeah. Just keep going. That's what Martin... No, consistency. Will. Just keep... I mean... Yeah. The, um, the, uh, the lady Julie, Julie Weeks, is on this call here that um, now works with us. I mean, she watched me from a distance doing my meetings for quite a while before she actually decided to turn up at one. And now she's, you know, absolutely thinks what we're doing is, is amazing and she's brilliant. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you just, and like we've said about, you know, when people hear about these things in different places, sometimes you just have to be there for a little while before people will take that, you know, step. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, Gavin. That's that's brilliant. Thank you very yeah. much. So, is there anything else you want to ask Martin about his meet or about anything else? Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You can, you, can find, you, can find, you can contact me online easily enough. <laughs> yeah. What country are you in, Steph? Are you... Pardon? I Sorry, just, sir? I was wondering what country Steph was in because he didn't seem to be saying things about public liability insurance and all the rest of that <laughs> stuff. Uh, I, I am in... My country is Essex. <laughs> I'm in Essex. Yeah, um, you need a passport to be in Essex. You do. Yeah, you need yeah all sorts of stuff. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do have the uh, public liability and and that sort of thing. So, I, I'm a coach. So I, yeah, I kind of I, I have to do that sort of thing anyway. But so easy. I thought you must be in some foreign country that didn't have that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. These things can be easier yeah. than we think. Yeah. <laughs> like you say, yeah. we're very good at putting walls up. We're very good at listening to the um, thinking mm. that comes in that says, you can't do this. You're not good enough. Only other people or only people in other countries or only someone who's blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. Our thinking's very good at doing that. Yeah. <laughs> more questions as it's five past now <laughs> oh that's been great thank you thank you for your yeah, great questions you. gavin that's lovely and thank you martin it's Absolute been a pleasure lovely. lovely to be here in person as well yeah it is Again? it's lovely yeah. to have it. we'll hang out for a little bit oh we're, we're yeah. being clapped here so <laughs> who is our lovely person next week oh goodness gracious we've completely um <laughs> Who have we got here next week? Yeah, uh, you'll just have to wait and see. I can't remember at all. It'll be a surprise, a surprise to me as well. Who our lovely person is next week? I'm sure it'll be someone absolutely amazing. <laughs> and if anyone lives near enough, we have got our meeting this week in Barnstable on Thursday evening. That will be our last one in Barnstable till after the summer. And then next Tuesday, the lovely Steph is going to be here in person and he's going to come mm -hmm. and take our meeting. We're going to do a meeting um, in Torrington at Torridge Vale Social Club. So if you're close enough and you want to come along and have a real live, you know, actually be able to touch him like this. <laughs> <laughs>
talk to the real Steph, who's hopefully going to be in this country then. Um, yeah, so we're really excited that he's going to come here next week. Um, what else have we got? Lots of... Oh, and then on Saturday, uh, not this weekend, the one after the 28th and 29th, we've got our two-day workshop. And we have got the lovely Frederick Kinman coming over from Sweden to talk at our workshop. He's, oh, as amazing as Martin, as amazing as Steph. So, yeah, lovely. Who is it? Oh, don't you give me a name there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so next week it is Deborah, Oliver, <laughs> Nucciolo, who's going to be, I probably haven't said, I'm glad, yeah, that's why Lucy ha handed me the piece of paper mm. or her phone, <laughs> not thing. That's who's going to be our lovely person next week. I've never actually met Deborah, so that's going to be really great fun. Mm. <laughs> I have. Uh -huh. Have you? Is she a lovely person? She is, is a really, fun? really lovely person, yeah. She's yeah. perfect. Perfect for you. Yeah. It's you people with stray strange names, Steph. Sibiotsky. <laughs> it's you people Ooh. with names. <laughs> Are you impressed, Steph? I, you, I was just... I was... I, I, I'm very touched that yeah. you, you've kind of taken the time to learn it. That's... <laughs> <laughs> do you know what when i go to poland which isn't very often and i they ask me my name and i say it they say no nah, no nah, you've not got that right no it's it's no, this. well we thought that when we looked at it we thought well clearly yeah. he didn't know how to say his own name obviously yeah it's true yeah it's true. <laughs> we'll give you some lessons and teach you how to say it properly. thank you thank you very much no problem it's all part of the right. service i look forward to that <laughs> So yeah, we've got lots of really, really, really exciting things going on. So if anyone wants to join in with any of them, please do. We always love to see you. Um, and then obviously we've got our amazing conference coming up in September, which the wonderful Steph is going to be there speaking and Frederick is going to be there speaking and Andy Winters and Steve Bear and all sorts of amazing, wonderful people. We're going to have a brilliant few days in September. But and you'll be able to find any information about what we're up to on um, my website, debrasimmons.co.uk. Always feel free to get in touch. Always, you know, we're on Facebook, and I'm sure Martin is the same. If anybody, yeah, yeah. if there's anything you know happened tonight, anything you want to know about what he's up to with iHeart, mm -hmm. the schools, yeah. anything like that, I'm sure Martin is very approachable. He's a lovely person. He's officially <laughs> lovely now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll be happy to talk to anyone who wants to know any more about what he's Certainly up to. Will, yeah. You can find him on Facebook. If you can't find him and you find me, if you ask me, I can put you in touch. No problem at all. So thank you very, very much, everybody. Thank you for being here. Yeah, and thank you. Thank hopefully you we will see some of you next week or in between. So thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.